Hi guys, welcome to Real Ninja Two Part Four. Now, what we're going to do today is about starting ninja fire, or how people used to do bushcraft and firecraft back in ancient Japan. If you're a shinobi, now we've all seen Ray Mays, we've all seen Bear Grylls, and they sit there for hours doing this, and it's all amazing. First of all, you should keep fire with you at all times. So what this means is you should keep something that is smouldering at all times. Now they give the recipe in the um, the actual manual. However, what I've used because I'm in England and not Japan. I've used this which is actually a fungus dried out and I've lit it and you're meant to be able to carry it with you and it's a match, watch. Now we're not going to start a fire today exactly but what we are going to do is I'm going to show you the secret of how ninjas used to do it quickly in the mountains. Now they would get their kindling like this, now this is not a fire set up properly, I'm just going to show you how the example works, but you get your kindling together, you get your wood ready and you've got your ignition. However, it's quite hard to ignite from there unless you've got really bone dry and thin kindling. So what did the shinobi use? In typical shinobi fashion, they said, add gunpowder. So what you've got is the go shinobi would have his little sachet of gunpowder. He would get his, he'd get his kindling ready and everything. And then what he would do, he would prep, prep his match and then it says in the manuals, it says this really, it says it ignites without any problems. You see him trying with flint and everything to so watch this. And there you go. And that's how you would create a fire. And there we go, a bit of fire. So there we go, that's Shinobi survival in the mountains. You can do that all you like, or you can blow it up. <laughs> How do I put it out? Oh, sugar, didn't think of that bit, did I? <laughs>